Hello everybody, Blue J Artist here coming at you with another rant. Um so after my rant with the quail flight, I was really, really, really pumped up and I still wanted to rant and so I thought I'd do another rant for you guys. And this is gonna be about a cat I have mixed emotions with. I just ask you please, please, please don't go off about cats you don't like in the comments. It's really annoying. I mean, be mature. you can talk about it, but be mature about it. Anyway, let's get to the rant. So this is gonna be about Holly Leaf. I have mixed emotions over her. She and her siblings, they were very cute as kids. And I thought it was actually quite um, interesting when she chose to be the medicine cat apprentice. I knew a twist like this was going to come, but still. I I thought it was weird how she couldn't, like, maybe, was it that she couldn't heal any sort of, like, she was afraid to hurt a cat? I thought that was kind of interesting. And I knew she was going to become a warrior. It's just, I don't know, I was expecting it. But that's not really what I wanted to talk about. Um, let's talk about her and the warrior code. Um... Her and the warrior co- I, I'm actually happy there's a cat like this because is it just me or does every single cat in like the third and the fourth series break the warrior code? Let's just think about that for a second. Pretty much every cat in the, in the, sec, the second to last and last series always breaks the code. It drives me insane. Thank you, Holly Lee, for wanting to follow the warrior code. It just drives me insane. Ugh, I need to make a rant about that later. Anyway, so like everything they do, she's all like, "Oh, that's." I I don't like how people don't like how I, I I like to joke about that too, but I don't like the fact that people make fun of her for that. I mean, everybody's always all like, "Oh, why'd they break the code? They're so annoying. Why can't they learn to? Why are you ranting on about Holly Leaf being obsessed with the code?" Let me just think about that for a second. And so when she, um, when they figured out that their mother was Leafpool and she was all like, um, and she was like devastated that they were half clan and the, I mean, guys, that broke her heart. She was like, like so into the warrior code and learned to become a warrior and all that stuff. And that was just blown away from her when she figured out her mother was Leafpool and her father was Crowfeather. That just broke her heart. And thinking, like, let's say you loved your parents for, like, a really long time, and they were good to you, and you figured out that they were not your parents, and some random people were. How would that make you feel? Yeah, that, that's what I thought. And, and then she told it at the gathering, and um, I, I thought she did this because, well, I know, I, I know Ashford was going to do this, but... Um, she just, I think she felt like it was just so wrong that she had to tell everybody about it. Like, it couldn't be kept a secret anymore. Like, she couldn't live with it. It just had to be figured out. And when people compare Stonefur to Hollyleaf, you know, how, like, they're both half clan and how they reacted. Well, I think Hollyleaf is just structured so much different than him. I guess Stonefur is a lot more understanding, but Hollyleaf is so much more... Um, into the warrior code than he is. That's just my personal opinion. And she was just more, I wouldn't say obsessed, but more demoted to it than he was. I'm not saying that he wasn't loyal. He was one of my favorite characters, and I love him, but I just think Holly Leaf, the warrior code, was like the world to her. I think she that's one of the things she cared about the most. So that just broke her heart when she figured out that she was half clan and the kid of a medicine cat. Excuse and Holly Leaf had every single flipping right to kill Leaf Pool. I mean, all Leaf Pool has done in her life has just been bad. I mean, she gave up her kit. She made it with the cat from another clan. She broke the medicine cat code and the warrior code. I I really don't like Leaf Pool and. I feel she had the right to do that. And then when she came back, and I think it was the Forgotten Warrior, I was so happy because, I don't know, she just, she, I don't think she deserved to die so easily. And, um, 
I, I like that she kind of made friends with Dovewing. And this, this shows she was an honorable cat because I think it was the Forgotten Warrior that she figured out about Dovewing and how, like, she was the third cat. And I think Jay Feather was like, well, there wasn't, like, any jealousy in her voice or something like that. Like, she actually, like, do- dealed with Dovewing and thought she was okay. And actually, I think she actually made friends with her. So, um, let's talk about Holly Leaf and the Last Hope. Um... Um, I'm I'm not a big Ivy Pool fan. She's all right, but she's okay. I don't know. I don't like Ivy Pool that much. She's okay. Anyway, moving on from Ivy Pool. When Holly Leaf saved her, and I was like, really, Aaron? You have to kill her a second time. The only cat who really, oh, well, the only main character who really loved the Warrior Code and would never, you know, break it or whatever. You'd have to kill her. Come on, man. I know a lot of people don't like her, and I get that it was, like, dramatic, but I don't know. I was just really sad that she died, and I'm happy that she forgave Leafpool. I, that was actually quite sweet when she was like, oh, I, I couldn't bear to leave without knowing my mother. And and then, oh, let's talk about her relationship with Fallen Leaves. I think that's a really sweet relationship, because if you haven't read Holly Leaf's story, go read it now. I think it was really good, actually, out of the ebooks. I mean, the ebooks are bad, but they're not my favorite. So, when she um, is lost in the tunnels, you know, Fallen Leaves helps her, and, you know, um, they, they become friends, and they do all that stuff, and it was, it was a sweet relationship to me. And then, um, um, hmm. oh, oh yes, also in The Last Hope, when Breezewell, okay, this is one of the reasons that I don't like Breezewell, but he's actually okay. But he was, I, I hate how he looked over at Holly Leaf and went, oh, she's dead, now it's your turn. And I was like, wow, Bruce Paul, can you be more of a dirtbag? Yeah, I don't think you can. And then I actually thought it was kind of sweet that Crowfeather went to mourn over her body. But anyway, I think that's pretty much it about Holly Leaf. And oh, I'm happy she went to Starkland. I hate how some people are like, oh, she should have gone to the Dark Forest. Why didn't Ashra go to the Dark Forest? He killed tried to kill like four cats holly leaf only killed one yeah anyway i think that's the end of this rant um leave any suggestions if you want to in the comments and i guess we'll see all right bye bye guys